hello everyone thanks for joining me on my channel in this video i will be showing you how i created this red glitter french on myself and i also thought that i would use this as an opportunity to share with you guys how my nail obsession all started but first let me show you guys the old set which is about four to five weeks old at this point and i must say that i'm proud to state that all the five nails are still securely bonding there was absolutely no lifting yay <laughs> So to start things off, I will go ahead and remove the old design, focusing on getting it flush to the natural nail. And of course, I'll also be removing the red polish. So as far as I can remember, I've always been fascinated by nails. I remember as a child, I would always polish my fingers and the toes with top coat because I wasn't allowed to wear nail polish. And when I finally got permission to wear nail polish, I could only wear them on my toes. I also remember one of the first instances of me polishing my toes. My mom, you know, she was so impressed that she asked me to do her toenails and the rest was history. Over the years, you know, I would always stock up on nail polish and I could never go to the pharmacy and leave without a bottle. And actually, I think that up until this day, I may still have some of those polishes that I bought several years ago tucked away in a drawer somewhere. Anyways, so as fate would have it, my mother was gifted a foot spa and I was the only one in the household who was ready and willing to use it. So I was basically giving my mom pedicures without even having a clue as to what I was doing. All I knew was that the water should be warm and soapy and there should be scrubbing action and at the end of it all, I'll get to polish her toenails. So fast forward to 2014, this was the year I graduated from university and I just started working and I decided to take my nail obsession to the next level. After all, <laughs> I was making my own money but little did I know that this was an obsession that I couldn't afford to keep. So that's when I started to spend a lot of time on YouTube. I couldn't afford to get my nails done, so I needed to learn how to do them myself. And that summer, I bought my first set of gels and acrylics, and I also bought a nail drill. Actually, I think I ended up getting two nail drills because I think there was some mix up with the order and they ended up sending me two. And as you can probably tell by the price, the quality of some of these products were not very good, but I didn't care. I thought I was creating very beautiful nails. So another reason why I think I was determined to learn is because I have what I call very fleshy fingernails and I hated my fingernails growing up and I always experienced a lot of pain and discomfort because of how deep my side walls are. And for me, as an upcoming nail tech, the part about having a pain-free experience means the most to me because I know what it feels like to have my fingers battered and bruised by nail techs. On top of that, I was told that, oh, you're too soft, you're too soft, man. <laughs> And for those who don't understand what that means, I was basically told that I should toughen up and bear the pain. Crazy people. <laughs> Anyways, here I am 
eight years later, finally being able to realize and experience my passion. And I am even the more excited because I am able to document it and hopefully I can inspire someone else. So moving on, I am using the Arbor Band to roughen the surface of the natural nail and I will also go ahead and use it to remove any visible lifting around the edges of the acrylic that remains. And to remove the lifting, I will place the file not exactly on the lifting but right at the base of it or where the lifting ends. So now that I've finished with the nail plate, I'll push back the eponychium to expose the cuticle and then I will use my e-file and diamond cuticle bits to clean up that area. Next is the nipping of the cuticles.
so because my side walls are so deep it's usually helpful to use an orange wood stick covered with cotton dipped in alcohol to clean the side walls from dust and debris so guys i just wanted to point out that if i was doing a regular refill i wouldn't thin the nail down as much but because i was doing a french i needed room to create my smile line now for the application so i know it's not the best but we're gonna just have to trust the process <laughs>
there you have it guys here's the final look and no i didn't do my other hand i find that to be very traumatic <laughs> i'm kidding but i don't have the patience so if i can't find someone to do them for me then i'll just remove them and throw on some gel polish I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you were inspired by my little ramblings at the beginning. Remember to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and to leave a comment. And of course, you know I'm going to ask you to subscribe. So until next time, take care.